I'd like to play a game with you. Hey, oh, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Saw the Ride, recreation from Thorpe Park, created by Pretzel. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, so this was sent in by one of our Discord expert builders, Pretzel, and he says, hey -o, it's Pretzel. I noticed you spotlight Saw the Ride recreation, and I wanted to show off my attempt at the recreation. Many people think it's not possible to recreate the coaster in full detail, so here's my example of what's actually possible within Planet Coaster. Things you should do during the spotlight. Ride at nighttime first. Outside looks best during the day, and inside the queue line looks better during the night. I suggest downloading the three soundtracks they'll be automatically added to the speakers and ride and then he provides a link and lastly massive shout out to channel 5 gaming it's awesome members for helping me with this coaster with the great feedback as i wanted to, it to be the best recreation yet thanks again johnny pretzel all right, so there were a couple media files for screens. I downloaded those. There were two custom audio files, not three. Um, however, those custom audio files are owned and copywritten by somebody. I have to, I have to do a little rant here, guys, because Pretzel says he got permission from the original artist to use the music. Now, even if you guys get permission, YouTube and the record label does not know that. So, for example, when we did the was it the mind bender from pixelated he got permission from the artist i uploaded the video to youtube and the video was flagged for copyright and not only was it flagged for copyright it was blocked worldwide that means nobody in the world could watch the video except for me certain people's copyright strikes are much more severe than others they can range from just taking the monetization they, they can block your video worldwide they can block it in certain countries certain devices it's not fun to mess around with this stuff guys it puts me in a bad position as well so when pixelated's creation was flagged for copyright and he had permission we filed a dispute we waited an entire month for the dispute to go through and the record label denied it and said you do not have permission we contacted the artist and he says i'll talk to the record label the problem is i've already gotten the dispute denied if i dispute it again i get a strike against my youtube channel and three strikes i'm out so i was not willing to do that and then what i ended up having to happen i had to remix the music and modify it so it did not sound like the original music and people were upset and outraged that the audio was echoey and weird sounding because i had to make some modifications to the music two weeks after i uploaded the video they then said it you can use the audio and have already messed with it so if i would have re-uploaded the original it would have got striked again and i would have had it gone through the entire process waiting an entire month again so even though i have the rights to use the music and i had to do a little a little tricky workaround to get the video online i do now have permission however i had to wait almost you know 45 days for the video to get uploaded so in pretzel situation here if i use the music i have to file the dispute and wait a month so this video is not going to get to you guys until the new year and i'm gonna have to go through a billion and one headaches just to get it to work so what we're going to end up doing for this video guys is we're going to add in a saw music remix that's added in in post-production and i'm going to put that in and it's still going to give you the same ambience now if you want to see the very original download it yourself download his music yourself and give it a listen and experience it for yourself now it's unfortunate guys this is the way it is those are the copyright laws so uh it's kind of unfair the way the copyright laws work so be for, be sure if you're going to use music guys get remixes check check it on youtube there's also a link in discord where you can check if your music is copywritten on youtube if it doesn't show up and it doesn't get flagged then you're good to go there are plenty of saw remixes out there or whatever remixes for whatever you're trying to do that someone else has created and given it to you royalty free so plenty of options out there guys there's no need to get the absolute original when a, a remix sounds very close so that's my rant guys i know it was a lot to digest but i've been showing footage of the coaster in the background so you guys have gotten a good look at it by now so let's dive right on into the ride and check it out all right, I know you guys like to kind of see, I did this in the last few episodes. Uh, I think this is a good thing to try out and try and do for the recreations is kind of get a, a good look at the original. And uh, so this is the original Saw the Ride from Thorpe Park. 
It's a little dark on the inside, so you can't really tell what's going on, which is a little unfortunate. And there is some audio and stuff that's included. And a little note to Pretzel, you do include audio tracks, but there are some sound effects, like he says, you want to play a game and things like that. And I think small, little, tiny audio clips like that might be okay. I think the way YouTube works is like if you play longer than a four second clip, that's when it gets recognized and pulled. So you could probably mix in some little sound effects and uh, and, and that should be fine. And you could have those little pl playing at the very beginning and at, at the end. Um, but anyways, here's a, here's a look at it in kind of like a, a foggy day setting so we can actually get a, a, a good look at the track itself. Uh, in the outdoor setting. Uh, the inside's really hard to tell what's going on, so we can't really do too much of a comparison there. Um, but I think this gives us a really clear look at the track ride itself. Uh, camera's a little bit jittery. I'm sure the ride is a little bit rough itself as well. Um, but here it is. Alright guys, so quick look at the ride stats, we got a 3.72 excitement, 2.46 fear, and a 0.53 nausea, 181 seconds in duration, and 746 meters in length. There's the rest of the results if you want to see them for yourself, and let's uh, dive right on into it, starting with night.
<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, the ride broke down. As you saw, it sped up in the last run a little bit. Um, because the queue is so long and it, the ride broke down, there was there was a problem with the... Um, there was a problem with getting the mechanic in. The exit was somehow blocked. It took me like 15 minutes to repair the ride, and because the queue is so long, I, I couldn't get more people on. So we're going in test mode for this last cinematic run here. Right, a really amazing creation there, uh, recreation there, uh, Pretzel. I think you did an outstanding job on this. The building looks pretty much exact, the same with the queue. I mean, the, the coaster itself, I think you pretty much nailed it. The coaster enthusiasts are going to love it. I'm pretty darn sure of that. Now, one thing I got to mention, guys, um, there's supposed to be some screens playing, and as you saw, they were flickering in the video. We saw this when I was doing the contest. I couldn't get one of the screens to work. And here we're seeing it again. Um, see, it flickered there. They are working. They... Oh, unknown image. Huh. That is weird, because I did download the files properly. I had this problem before, guys. Something has happened where my screens, video screens, have stopped working. Uh, but we saw one in the queue, which was just a plain image, and that one was working properly. So I might have to clear out my data or reinstall Planet Coaster. I don't know what's going on with that. If anyone else has experienced this flickering white screen issue on the videos, please let me know because we had this problem in the contest. The other judges got theirs to work, but I did not. And it seems to be a reoccurring issue now. So hopefully I can get this fixed. I'm going to try clearing out my data. If that doesn't work in the next time we see a video and it's still doing that, I'm going to definitely have to reinstall Planet Coaster. But... Uh, if anyone knows what's going on with that, please do let me know down in the comments below. Hooey! So, 45 minute recording, that's absolutely insane. There were some problems going on with this, lots of work on behind the, uh, the recording of the, the, the cinematic shots that I provided with you guys, and a little bit of a rant at the beginning there. So, I'm really curious to know how long this video will actually be when you guys end up watching it. But, uh, I think it was worth it. Really good job from Pretzel putting this together, and I'm gonna have fun editing this one. <laughs> so, there you go, everybody. That was saw the ride recreation Thorpe Park created by Pretzel and that's gonna do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight if you guys enjoy please be sure to smash that like button share on social media and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos and if you guys would like to support the show and keep it going you could do so by becoming a patron all right everybody thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day ah, you can see the problem here guys <laughs> see I couldn't get the mechanic to repair it and uh, it's happening again I don't know what's up with that. Hey, pretzel. <laughs> Easter egg. All right. All right, everybody. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.